we seem to be having a lot of similar conversations about boundaries, right? And as I work with clients and I talk with more people, I'm seeing a big thing about boundaries in today's day and age. And if you don't know how to set a boundary or what a boundary is, I'm going to tell you in the next few minutes. So <clears throat> here's how I perceive it. A boundary is simply a line in the sand, okay? It's like the proverbial fence around your yard, and it's where you say, hey, you're doing something. If you continue to do this, something's going to happen, right? Think about it as the law in Texas, right? Somebody walks onto a property in Texas. The owner of the property is allowed to shoot that person to say, hey, stop. Don't come any closer. That person continues to come on. That person can straight up just shoot them. They can put them down, right? As you should. A boundary is the same thing, but it doesn't have to be necessarily as violent initially as that. And when you set a boundary, you're simply telling someone in your life, a friend, a family, a member, a parent, a partner, doesn't matter, coworker, and you say, hey, when you do this thing, it makes me feel uncomfortable. It causes me a loss of power, right? I really don't enjoy when you do that. Please don't do that. You don't have to explain yourself to that degree if you don't want to, but you have to say, hey, you doing that thing, that's a no-go for me. Please don't do that again when you're around me or with me or to me, okay? That person either has to accept that boundary and never do that thing for you, or they have to fucking, they'll blow right past it, right? Mostly because they won't respect you. If they question it, maybe they just want to know or they want to understand, maybe they truly don't get it. But if that person just blows past that boundary or they do that thing again, they don't respect you. And that person deserves zero attention in your life. It's not that difficult. It is very black and white as a matter of fact. And the better that you get at setting boundaries with people, the more that you are going to be able to, to see who belongs in your life and who doesn't. And if there are people that continually do not respect you or your boundaries and what you wish for your life and your autonomy and the things that you want and how you want to experience this wild adventure, then they should be cut off. You should let them go. You should stop giving them attention. Stop talking to them. Stop trying to convince them of your worth and your self-worth. And when you set boundaries, your self-worth and your confidence goes up over time because you're able to see Oh, well, that worked. This person respects me and my boundaries. They are no longer doing this thing. They must respect me. Now I have a little bit more confidence for myself because I was able to clearly communicate something. Now, when you communicate a boundary, do it without emotion. Don't bring emotion into it. A lot of people who fail to set boundaries are also the ones who get triggered because they're constantly just eating and dying in silence because they know a boundary is being crossed, but they haven't communicated it. And usually the person in their life that they're upset with doesn't know it. So eventually this person blows up and they become triggered because being triggered is really just an inability to effectively communicate a boundary. Okay, we've, we've talked about this a number of times. And as I continue to see and hear clients, you know, live through these situations and set better boundaries or understand what they are for the first time at whatever age, right? We get better as people. We're able to clearly communicate. We're able to be a little bit less emotional and less explosive, which in today's world, we probably need in this country, right? So think about this. If anything resonates, comment below. Let me know. If you have questions about this, let me know. But this is a, a big topic that I am always trying to learn. You're never done learning and growing. So I continue to try and be good at this. But hopefully this explains exactly what setting a boundary is, how to do it, how to do it without emotion, and of course, how to not get triggered while doing it as well. All right. See you guys on the next one. Peace.